Hello everyone, my name is Christian Nicolescu and today I will present you how to configure your NetSuite system to work with UiPath using the NetSuite connector from UiPath Go. So, on UiPath Go, search for NetSuite, you will download the connector. To be able to connect um, from UiPath to the NetSuite, you will need the account ID, the consumer key, the consumer secret, token ID and token secret. So let's understand how we get this from NetSuite. So, if we go to NetSuite, if I will go to setup, integration. So if I go to setup to integration on on integration here, on the web services. When you go to this page, you will get first thing the account ID. I will not show you to not expose our account ID. Let's go next and see what uh, else we need to configure to be able to to get the consumer key and consumer secret. We'll do this step. We'll go to setup to integration and go to manage integration and hit new. And here I will create a new integration. Let's say test UI path uh, robo, yeah? And here I will say that it's a token based authentication. So I'll hit save. And these things generate us a consumer key and a consumer secret. I will copy these two on the file and use further. The next step is to get a token ID and token secret. To be able to get this, we will go to setup, user and roles, and here we'll go to access token. And you see new. Remember we had an application ID. And the application ID was uh, test UI robo, yeah? UI pad robo, test UI pad robo. Then I'll put the username, which is my name, Christian Negulescu. I'll put the role. Here I have the role for UiPath, Rob, um, UiPath um, RPA developer. Here your administrator, you need to configure your role to be able to give you access to all the stuff that you want to automate. We'll hit save and this will provide you a token ID and a token secret. We'll copy this, uh, uh, this data also on the file and then we'll go on UiPath to configure this thing. Let's see how we configure on UiPath. So here on UiPath Studio, we'll create a new process, a net suite like this. And on this new process, first we need to, uh, to add the component, yeah? So to be able to add the component, I will go to project. And here on the dependencies, I will be sure that I'm on all the projects. And I will say net suite, and this will get the link from the Go. So we install the net suite. Uh, connector, and after we install the NetSuite connector, we'll go to activities, and you'll see that under UiPath team, you have NetSuite. So, what you need to use first time is the NetSuite application scope. And on the NetSuite application scope, we need to configure all the details. After you configure all the details, you click the test connection, you configure the details here on authentication design. You hit test connection and you'll have a valid connection with your not suite. Inside of the scope, you can put all the activities from here. Thank you very much. Have a good one. Happy automation with NetSuite or NetSuite.